And this is a smaller section, but we're actually representing three different time periods here. So the, the Permian, where we have Glossopteris, this big plant fossil, and then also the early Triassic, so some of our other pre-dinosaur vertebrate fossils are coming from, from this time period. So these are animals like Lystrosaurus and Thranaxodon, kind of early relatives of what are, are going to eventually become mammals. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is... Those are gorgeous, yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. This is from the Middle Triassic period. Um, the, the Taylors, a group from the University of Kansas, uh, worked up and discovered this uh, fossil forest. Essentially like a lot of uh, stumps of these trees that were kind of in situ so that they were able to actually kind of map these out on the landscape to get a sense of kind of how dense this forest might have been, how big the trees were, you know, how, how closely spaced they were. Gives us a much better view of what the world looked like then. I love dioramas. <laughs> uh, we'll look really close in the middle of that and you'll see in the stream oh, there. Oh yeah, that's that a, guy. Hal Antarcticucus, yeah. That guy. Um, so we don't find the vertebrate fossils in the same place as the plants, but in the same time period, the Middle Triassic, we have these huge temnospondyl amphibians running around. Um, so these are the actual skulls over here, right? And the temnospondyls, we sometimes call these toilet lid amphibians, because the heads kind of look like big toilet seats. <laughs> So this we're looking down on the top of the skull of Antarcticucus. There's another species, Cryostega. This is only represented from the tip of the snout, but if you kind of eyeball it, you can hopefully tell this is an animal that would have even been much bigger than Antarcticucus. Than this guy. Yeah, this we've only got kind of the very tip of the snout here. And it's, it's turned upside down so you can actually see the teeth. Oh, wow. And unlike us, these animals, they have these big tusks and, and canines that are actually kind of on the palate, on the roof of the mouth, not just on the edge of the, the jaws. Yeah, these things would have been pretty wild to see in action. <laughs> you know, to think that back in the Triassic, you would have had, you know, a six or eight foot long salamander essentially running around.